Phoebe, my word, I mean, that is extraordinary. How do you even process that? I'm not processing it, I'm not going to lie. I feel like I'm dreaming. It's crazy. I can't believe I'm in this situation. I mean, again, I'm going back to the, the chat that we had at English schools last year. I think you ran 202 for the 800 metres. What's changed since then to now? What's going to have been going on in the last year that I mean, it's got into such a high level now? Yeah, I mean, I was thinking about this the other day because I was asked the same question, and I think it's just that I've started to take the sport extremely seriously and kind of train like a pro athlete which I know sounds crazy because I'm still 17 but I just love this sport so much so I start to take nutrition seriously and the mental side of it um, uh, more seriously and I you know I up my training in the gym I've focused on more running specific techniques and yeah I think it's worked and you coached by Deborah Steer of course at St Albans how's that been for you and that influence it's amazing I love her so much she's such an amazing coach unfortunately she couldn't be here today but I was with Adrian Patterson my other coach and I've been with them ever since I was 12 years old and they've really helped me flourish and grow in this sport and I think I'm going to stay with them for as long as my career lasts. And, and, and that sets up, how influential has that been for you in your career so far? Because you're, you're still a teenager as yeah. well. Yeah, it's, it's really important to have a good setup, and I've got such a good support system over there with them and great people to train with. We all really push each other, and I just love it so much. And I need to start uh, getting ready for the change as I go into uni, but I think that like, I'm going to be ready to maybe grow, uh, uh, train with another group and as well as them when I come home. So we'll see how it goes. And that race today, obviously, facing someone like Gemma, you know, who's such a senior, you know, pro, obviously, major medalist as well. How was that for you? Oh, amazing. I mean, I've looked up for Gemma for so long. I remember um, back in January, we were we happened to be training at Lee Valley together and I went up and asked for a photo and to think that I was running against her today is crazy. But she's such a lovely person and amazing inspiration for so many 800 meter athletes. And having her on my shoulder and we were pushing each other to the line was an experience I can't even describe. Uh, I guess the obvious question is when you began at the start of the year, what were your goals? I mean, did you think that the Olympics was a possibility? <laughs> Absolutely not. I mean, my, my coach mentioned it in passing and I was like are you being silly like I, I can't even comprehend that but the fact that it's here now it's still unbelievable to me I mean I was just focusing on under 18 euros maybe under 20 worlds but the fact that I can go to the senior level event that everyone dreams of is just a dream come true and I guess on that you know are you still going to be doing the year under 18 since Slovakia now yeah I'm, I'm not happen? sure because it is so close but I do need to discuss it with my coach and um, we'll see what happens with that and just last you for me you know when I mentioned the Olympics and the fact that you are probably going to be an Olympian. I, I mean, how do you even put that to words? I mean, it's every, it's every young athlete's dream to say that they're Olympian. And the fact, I mean, I got so emotional back at the track when I knew it had happened. I just can't even describe it. It's just a dream come true. I know I keep saying that, but it is just a dream come true. And I just am so happy that it's arrived. And just finally for me, you know, that, that race, could you break it down and, and just kind of how you manage that last 100, 200? Because you look so strong there. <laughs> I mean, I really didn't want to be leading on the first lap. I had said to my coach that I want to stick behind someone and then push from the last lap to go. So I was a bit annoyed that I was leading coming into it and I was just knew that I had to stay in that position. So from the bell, I just knew that I had to keep winding up and winding up because I didn't want to have to do a massive kick on the last 100 meters. And I just felt so strong and pumped going through because I've been so worked up for this race and I had adrenaline like running through my body and it really pushed me to the line. Okay,